Sup guys, Hot Noob here, and if you guys absolutely hate the Android layouts and just fuck want to use something else like say HTML and JavaScript, then I've got the perfect solution for you. And you guys are either going to love or hate this video because there's so much fucking shit that you need to know, like little itty bitty things that really aren't documented anywhere and just create a lot of freaking frustration. But, uh, yeah, I'm going to solve all of that frustration for you guys and show you how it's done. And, you know, hopefully the studio doesn't bug out in this video because, fuck, I've done this twice. Well, I've created an app twice, and it just keeps fucking bugging out. Because I'm so aggressive on this thing, I guess. I don't know. So, my app. Java sucks. So... Plain old defaults, like so. And it's going to take a while to load. Do, 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 do. So, yeah, um, you guys are going to have to pay a lot of attention to, like, everything, because, hell, a lot of you guys probably even won't make it through the video because your minds will be all, like, fucked up from all this sh information overload or something. I don't know, it's really a lot to take in to get this thing to work so that you have a Android app that is pretty much purely based on HTML and JavaScript. And, um, yeah. There are no real limitations with this, like, you can use all the APIs and shit, like you normally can. And, is it done loading? Oh, it might be done. Okay, I'm just gonna give it a couple more seconds. Anywho, um, Android provides a nice little way f for the web view to communicate between um, the web view or whatever the contents in the web view and the application itself or Java or whatever you want to call it. But uh, yeah, it's a bit of a pain in the ass to set up or to figure out. So let's go to the source. No bugs, no bugs. Not bugging out. Okay, first steps first, and we're going to be getting rid of that big stupid title bar that shows up all the time. And we're just going to say at Android. Whoops. Android. I can't spell. Goddamn fucking piece of shit. You got the bug. Ugh, it bugs out. Bugs out. Oh, I wish. Fuck them. Anyway, style. Uh, black. No, sorry, theme dot black dot no title bar dot full screen, like so, and hopefully this will work. Hopefully it doesn't bug out anymore. All right, loading the layouts. Awesome. So if all goes well, you'll have a view like this. If you don't have a view like this, well, you need to reload your project. So close Android Studio, reopen it, and if it still doesn't look like this, then you need to do the Gradle clean command, which I showed you guys in a video or two back. Anywho, moving on, delete, and take this web view item, just slap it on there. And let's switch over the text, fill parents, like so. Ta-da, that's it. And I'm going to leave the ID as web view because, fuck, we're only going to be using one frickin' view in this entire app. Screw everything else, this is it. Yeah. Okay, now we are in our main activity, and for sort of convenience and future thinking, public, web, view, sorry, lowercase, on public, web, view, view. I'm just going to call it view because, yeah, this is my view. It's the only thing I'm going to be using. Equals web view, find view by ID r dot id dot main whoops sorry web view like so god damn it ah! I need to turn on a light or something okay ta-da we have a web view does dick all let's make it do something so in order to get JavaScript to work within this web inside this web view you have to do a number of things first is uh, set web chrome clients like so then we go new the Chrome client, like so. Ta-da! It is vital that you do that. Next is web settings. 
settings equals view dot get settings. You have to, for some odd stupid reason, set it in a, a variable. It doesn't work if you just do the get the get settings and you just got to do it like this. True. I don't know why. Maybe it's because I haven't done this too many times, or just, I'm just doing what works. Okay, like so. Now you have the ability to load your JavaScript. So in case you guys didn't see what I did, or you're deaf, or, or I mean you're blind and you didn't see what I did, um, it's settings dot set JavaScript enabled to true. And oh, so did I, I'm pretty sure there's an order. It only works in a specific order as well, or something. You know, it's stupid. I don't know. I'm just recreating what's uh, always works for me because it's really nitpicky. So set dome storage enabled true. Set JavaScript enabled true. Ta-da! <coughs> Next, I gotta be showing you guys, or I'm gonna be showing you guys how to add in that asset. Fuck. My brain is fucked right now. Um, I'm going to be showing you guys how to uh, get the HTML in there and there's sort of two ways of doing it in this way I'm just going to be showing you guys how to load it from the local uh, you can load it from a remote URL but um, when you release the app you want everything on local so uh, so you just create a folder here called assets and then new file it's called main.html and then be hello world like so we got our HTML file to do and activities and we're gonna go view dot load URL uh, file Android asset main dot HTML and hopefully you guys will trust me that this works and stuff so I'm gonna continue on from there and just keep on going to the next portion which is getting JavaScript working between um, uh, the web view and Android so, or between Android and like I said my my mind is not very good today or it's all over the place I don't know it's probably because I got my my uh, back adjusted today or something anywho oh, moving on uh, got our scripts here. Um, yeah, I'm going the wrong way. I'm going to start by creating a new Java class, and we're just going to call this JS interface. It really doesn't matter what you call this, um, just as long as you that that you know the name of it. Um, public. Let's create a constructor for it, and like so. Now. For the sake of convenience, I'm going to create another variable here. Main activity, activity, like so. And then we're going to accept, like so. And then this dot activity equals activity. And another thing that you're going to be wanting is um, your web view. Uh, and we're going to make it a final because of I'm thinking about the future here and you're gonna need it to be in final because you gotta do some uh, multi-threading here like in the previous video so like so and then we're just gonna say what view view and this dot fu equals oh I just said fu didn't I fu equals <laughs> view and yeah that's it for this this little part for now anyways then we're going to go to our view let's do it beforehand view dot uh, add JavaScript interface new JS interface this for the first parameter of main activity and then uh, view for the view next parameter of the add JavaScript interface command I'm just going to get rid of that so you guys can see is pretty much Hard to explain. I'll just do this for example. Blah. And then when you're calling any of your functions or the cl from that uh, class in JavaScript, you just do window dot blah type thing. That's really the best way I can explain it. Like the easiest, simplest, no duh way. 
So I just changed that to Windows, so we do window.android.my function, like so. Ta-da!